market for cryptocurrencies is way, way down. No! Nigga, no! <laughs> 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 no! First off, oh, oh, no, 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 It was supposed to be fun, an investment opportunity for online entrepreneurs to expand their assets and to gain huge income in the future. Bitcoin, invest in that bitch back in 2009 and you might have been a millionaire today. Everyone was drunk off of the hype. You know I wanted me a piece of that, but I kind of did so ill-advised or rather with no advisory whatsoever i decided during a live stream to purchase bitcoin so that way people could see how the process is done and maybe everybody else could jump in on the gold rush and make them a couple of dollars too i went in small initially a tiny taste of the cocaine which will eventually turn you into a fucking junkie once i owned that microscopic portion of bitcoin it was like a disease. If someone mentions that word, I would interject and be like, hey, I, ha I have a little bit of holding in Bitcoin too, that crypto game. I know what's up. L let me see my portfolio. Pro Bitcoin right up. That was even in a fucking bar. And there were girls and they were talking about the Bitcoin thing. And I came in like, oh, yo, I, I have a couple of Bitcoin holdings too. Let me check out my portfolio. Oh, man. Wow. You really have that Bitcoin? Oh, yeah, baby. Definitely. The price is going up. Whoa. How do we do it? I even got one of those girls his phone number thanks to that bitcoin shit all those jokes about dudes talking on their earnings and all their fucking portfolio stuff just using that cryptocurrency game boys bitcoin litecoin ethereum shit i'm even the one called butthole coin i've been doing this for three weeks so yeah i'm sort of an expert yes sadly that was me am i embarrassed about it of course i am but don't you dare for a moment make me feel like i was the only one i know you did it too nigga anybody who had some of that bitcoin some of y'all were bragging and posting shit and talking all this high talk game when you only had like 20 dollars invested in there so don't make it seem like it was just me there were a bunch of other youtubers who were excited about this of course youtubers yeah. would be Dude, involved i had made a group chat on twitter involving all of these guys there were so many people jumping on that same bandwagon the websites were completely backed up where verification took weeks on end the only way you can buy other crypto is with bitcoin the only place that does cash like us dollars to bitcoin is a place like coinbase not all websites have that ability with coinbase being slowed down from all of those accounts being made and everyone trying to become rich and that's the fucking problem a lot of where the hype came from were us thinking that well if we put in enough money at one time we'll become fucking millionaires in two weeks we had been sitting up for hours late night the whole group of us looking at these prices go up and up we should be in there why the fuck are we waiting around dogs we just missed out on a huge price jump if we had put in like a thousand dollars we could have come out with like 2,000 or 3,000. The, mo the money was going up. I have to get my hands on some Bitcoin no matter what. So that way I can start investing rather than looking at these prices. This is where things get fucking ugly. There's Bitcoin ATMs. Everyone's talking about them in New York City and all that. So I looked up where like the nearest, most accessible ones are. They were located in the fucking hood. We're going to a bodega located in the middle of some crazy ass neighborhood and put thousands of dollars into the machine for a Bitcoin transaction. Needless to say, I was a little bit skeptical, a little bit worried. I know they probably had fancier ATMs in the city, but I wasn't gonna go all the way out there. I suited and booted, took the train and went all the way out to this obscure ass ATM. And this shit was jank as all hell. Everybody in the store starts looking at me. Oh, you doing that? Bitcoin my nigga yo how does that shit work this is like a private thing I don't want to showcase stuff I mean I don't know what the deal is I put in a hundred dollars Bitcoin prices had gone down from that initial huge peak of 19 to 20,000 the prices had gone down at that point to like 15,000 that ATM though used the highest rate so you were paying a hundred dollars to it and only getting out that conversion rate of 19,000. It was ridiculous. I decided to go ahead with it anyways. I confirmed it with the group and they were like, yo, is, is it all good? I was like, yes, test transaction worked out. I got the Bitcoin right into my account. I went to the ATM again the next night and nigga, this time around, I fucked up. And you think it's a joke? You think I'm playing around like I wasn't actually did the nigga. I got the receipts right here. You see the payomatic shit? I got the fucking receipts of going to that scamming ass ATM paying way more than I should have for the amount of Bitcoin that I had. It was so stupid of me, man. But that's what happens, dogs. The addiction was there. I was trying to get rich quick overnight. So that next night, I put in $1,100 at that 
bullshit conversion rate of 19,000 per Bitcoin. And as if that wasn't enough, as if I was a glutton for far more punishment, I went back the night after and purchased another transaction worth $900. And it was still that fucking scammy ass rate that they had showed earlier. And even though I got janked, I honestly didn't feel bad because the idea of just having that Bitcoin access immediately, a lot of other dudes were waiting like two weeks for their shit. I had my Bitcoin right away. Granted, uh, I kind of got scammed on the amount I should have had, but whatever. So as soon as I got that money in there, I started putting it into different cryptocurrencies, thinking that next day I'm waking up rich. And then to push it even further, once I had bought all those cryptocurrencies, I decided, well, time to take this shit to the next level. How should I store my crypto? I don't like it in an account floating on the internet. I want to hold my coin safe with me. Your boy even went above and beyond and bought this Ledger Nano S thing. This is apparently a little crypto wallet, and you can actually physically have your coins on you at all times. So that way, if a server or something fucks up, nobody can rob it or whatever. December, this was one of the hottest selling products, and because the demand was so high, the price was super high too. I paid probably around a hundred dollars more for this thing, and then extra for shipping. So it wound up being around like three hundred and twenty dollars to get my hands on this, which when it's normally like a hundred to 150 everywhere around i was getting scammed everybody has the same mindset and it's like a fucking gold rush and it's a bubble that bubble my man was massive in my head and that bitch was about to get popped when i had put in all of my coin earnings in binance and i had everything listed out the total profit that i had made was like around seven thousand dollars and then we had those crazy market crashes the bitcoin crash and every single other cryptocurrency just completely lost value that bitch dropped down dogs and i had lost around three thousand dollars man i it, it, even now if i i don't even want to check my fucking binance at this point not counting like you know the whole nano ledger thing you know i never actually used this it, it wound up not working because a lot of cryptocurrencies can't be stored on it because they're not like optimized so it was kind of a waste considering how much money i spent on that how much money i lost in that scamming ass conversion version rate of the ATMs and then the general fucking crash of all cryptos the money that I lost nigga was insane but you know what at least I had my hand on some crypto coins at one point right Bitcoin! did I sell off all of those coins no even though it is three thousand dollars that I kind of lost out on you know I could sell them now and might probably make like a thousand back I'm not going to do that because Crypto is a long-term investment opportunity. My losses were big, but at least they weren't as big as some other people. I'm not going to put any names out there, but niggas lost like a fucking $10,000 investment at one point. I was just like, oh my fucking God. I lost around near half of that, but damn, at least it ain't 10K. If you're trying to go in for the long term, buy up some coins that you think will be valuable by the suggestion of other people who know what they're doing, hold on to them for a couple years. Short term crypto game, you better know those coins like the head of your dick, like the, like the flaps of your lips, and make sure that you will have the time to really surf those coins. You, it's probably better if you do it as a full-time job if you're trying to make a short term profit, but lesson learned, nigga.